everyone. It's Michelle Caruana from Play Cafe Academy and Profitable Play. And I am a little more like dolled up um, than normal lately because I'm actually on my way to go to a concert. We're going to see The Offspring and Simple Plan, and I am so excited. But as I was getting ready, I was, you know, thinking, you know, what do I need to wear? What do I need to bring? You know, what's the weather going to be like? And all these things were kind of going through my head as someone who is very much a planner to my core. And it got me thinking about events I've been to lately, and I've been meaning to make this YouTube video because recently I brought my kiddos to an NFL game, not a real NFL game. It was a preseason game. So if you've ever been to, you know, a preseason game versus a regular season game, they are very different. And this was kids day. So I knew it wasn't going to be very rowdy. I knew there was going to be a ton of kids activities. I knew it was very child friendly, much more so than the regular season games. And we sit in the club level. So it's all season ticket holders. It's people that we've been sitting with for years and years. It's something that I feel really comfortable bringing my kids to, especially on kids day, especially during the preseason. But as a business owner, and if you're already open or if you're getting ready to open, something that you'll probably already know and maybe find yourself doing is every single time I go somewhere, whether it's the grocery store or whether it's a doctor's office or, you know, an event or a concert or something like a preseason game, I always, you know, take either mental notes or this time I took like literal notes on my phone that I'm going to go through, but I always take notes of how they do things, you know, what are the employees doing? How are they organizing things? What events are they doing? What crafts are they doing? What are they selling? What kind of food? All that stuff. I always, you know, take the mental notes and I usually relate it back to my business. And I definitely did this as an indoor playground owner. And I think I do it even more now as somebody who teaches indoor playground owners and indoor playground ownership full time. So of course, while I was there, I had to make some notes. And there were some things I absolutely love about the Bills game specifically. Again, I don't know how every stadium works. I know every stadium's a little bit different in their policies and procedure. So I'm going to speak just from my experience. So I'm going to share some things that I really loved about the experience that I think you can use and take away for your own business. And also some things that I just didn't love. Everything that I'm going to be talking about is kind of through the lens of a mother whose son is autistic. So take with that what you will. But I really think so many of the special accommodations they make for autistic children can really be applied to any kiddo who maybe has a hard time with anxiety or noise or too much sensory input or overstimulation. So I really like some of the things that the Buffalo Bills specifically did to accommodate children with sensory disorders. So the first thing that we kind of did when we got there is we participated in a kids day event. Now, one of the things that I didn't like about this is that they didn't really tell us anything about what the actual kids day event was going to be. They called it a junior tailgate and they, you know, alluded to maybe some things that would be there. They said there would be a bounce house, some balloon artists, things like that, but they really weren't specific. And it was like a five hour long event. Um, so we went, you know, hoping for the best. It ended up being super disorganized. So there really wasn't a lot of people or there really weren't a lot of people working at the actual event. There was maybe two bounce houses, one face painter, and like a couple balloon displays that you could take pictures in front of, but there wasn't like balloon twisting or anything like that. So I completely misread that in the information, but again, they really weren't specific. And there were like, I don't know, 20,000 people at this tailgate. So two bounce houses for that many kiddos, it was an absolute disaster. And something else that I really didn't like about this event is that they allowed anybody to come. So you didn't need to have tickets to the actual game to participate in the tailgate. So I think a lot of people who weren't able to get tickets to the game were kind of making these lines so much longer than the event staff anticipated. So I think either they should have figured, you know, people are going to be excited about the bill season. They're going to see that it's kids day. They're going to want their kids to at least participate in the tailgate if they can't go to the game itself. So I think they should have anticipated that and maybe hired some additional vendors and additional workers for the event. Or they should have closed it off and said, you know what, ticketed persons only are allowed at this tailgate. Again, either option is fine. I just think they could have prepared a little bit better. So that brings me to the next thing that we did is we found our seats. And as I mentioned, we splurged a little bit, I'm not going to lie, for club level seats. And the reason is so that our kids can come. Because as you guys know, in Buffalo, New York, it gets very cold in the winter and our seats are under the heater and there's also an indoor area. So it's not like a box. 
it's in the 200 level. So it's kind of between the lower bowl and the upper bowl. It's like a little strip of 200 level. I'll put a picture. And there's an interior and there's all these tables and it's just a nice place to warm up or relax. And we splurge and we budget extra money for these season tickets because we know it's the only way that we're going to be able to bring our kiddos to any games and make them as comfortable and as safe as possible. Because as I mentioned, this section in particular is extremely family friendly. There's not a lot of drinking, no rowdiness, no craziness. Everybody's a season ticket holder. Again, we've been sitting next to the same people for years and years and years, never had a single issue. We are absolutely willing to pay more money so that my son who is autistic can have that extra space, that little club access area to unwind, to get away from the noise, to get away from the cold maybe, whatever is you know triggering him at that specific time. It is so worth it to us. So anytime an event has this kind of upgrade available, we will splurge and we will spend pretty much any amount of money to make sure the event is successful and comfortable for our kids. So I, as a business owner, definitely had a takeaway from that. And that's maybe you can't offer everybody this special experience or these special seats or these special tickets. Maybe it's allowing people to enter an event early to kind of help them get their kids settled. Or maybe it's a sensory friendly version of the same event. For example, a Halloween event. Maybe you have a regular event that has tickets sold to capacity and, you know, a lot of music and noise and things like that. Um, and then maybe you have a sensory friendly version that sells less tickets, but maybe it's a little bit more expensive because it's a premium experience that again, parents like me are often willing to pay for. I would absolutely pay for that. So again, I love having the option to have a more intimate, unique experience. We really wouldn't be able to bring the kids otherwise. Now, the next thing that I absolutely loved inside the stadium, and this is something that my son's therapist actually suggested, but there are these really cool sensory bags that you can rent out. So it's a little drawstring backpack. I'm gonna show a picture and it was really cool. So it had headphones in it which were really helpful. I mean, we brought our own headphones because I wasn't exactly sure what was gonna be in the sensory bag and I didn't wanna risk not having one. They only had one left by the time we made it to guest services. So there's definitely a limited supply. So it's a drawstring backpack. It has headphones. It has a couple sensory toys. It has this really cool communication tool that allows nonverbal children or maybe children with communication difficulties, especially in chaotic environments. It helps them communicate their needs, their wants, their emotions, which I absolutely loved. And it has visual cues, which I think are so important. And then it just had some other sensory items and toys. And something that I really liked is it came with this badge that had like almost VIP status. And I really enjoyed this because oftentimes when staff are kind of walking around or ushers or things like that, and they see a kiddo kind of melting down or having a hard time, if they have one of these VIP badges on, they know right away, okay, this child is either autistic or they have sensory processing disorder or something similar, something that has to do with sensory overload or overstimulation. So I love that this, you know, isn't, it's very subtle, right? It doesn't say like, I have a disability. It doesn't say like, I am autistic, please be nice, which can be really off-putting to some people. So I absolutely love that it made him feel very special with like a little VIP badge. But again, it empowered the staff with the additional knowledge, like, hey, this family might need some extra help. They might need you know, some additional space. And especially at the club level seating, I cannot say enough good things about the Buffalo Bills staff. They were so overly accommodating to us. And there was actually like a rain delay. So they completely evacuated the outdoor seating area and everybody had to go inside. So luckily, because we were in club seats, we had our little table. So we just grabbed lunch and ate lunch at a table. So it really wasn't a big deal. Another big perk of club seats. But in the lower bowl, like everybody was shoved like shoulder to shoulder, like chest to chest in like the concession stand area, which if you've ever been to a Bills game or really any NFL game, if you have every single person attending that game in that little area, like if the game comes down to the wire and you're all leaving at the same time, it's hot, it's sweaty. It was August, it was like 90 degrees. It was, it would have been miserable. So I'm so happy again that we budgeted ahead of time for these club level seats. And as soon as this, you know, thunderstorm, this rain delay happened, the staff saw my son's badge and they came right up to us and they said, hey, you know, if your son's really struggling, we have this extra area. It was actually like an EMS area for anybody that was having a medical emergency. But they actually said, you know, if he's really having a hard time, because at this time it was considered a shelter in place. So we couldn't leave. We couldn't go outside. We couldn't get fresh air, nothing. So they said, you know, if he's having trouble with this crowd, 
we're happy to move him over to this EMS area. So again, this badge was so incredibly helpful. And I love that they made it, you know, that VIP because it made him feel really special. And it didn't, you know, immediately alert to anybody who didn't need to know that he is autistic or had sensory processing disorder. It was kind of something that was, you know, unknown between the staff and us. So I really, really appreciated that. And just the fact that they were clearly looking out for these badges and ready and willing to accommodate to whatever we needed. I just, it, I loved it so much. Now we did have to sign this bag out. So we had to put our seat number, my first name, last name, email address, phone number. So it did take a few minutes. So if you're going to be going to an NFL game that has these bags, make sure you give yourself a lot of extra time because again, there is a limited supply and it does take quite a few minutes to sign it out and you need to return it. So I absolutely love this idea for an indoor playground business because a lot of times when I work with indoor playground owners who really want to accommodate autistic children and adults better, they say, well, you know, we don't really have the budget to have this sensory bin or these extra sensory toys or to give kids toys when they leave to avoid meltdowns or things like that. So I love this idea of having these pre-made bags and handing them out as needed at events or at classes or just during open play. Again, it allows you to control the cost while still serving your customers at the highest possible level. So I thought this was brilliant. So again, headphones, a communication card, some fidget toys, and a little badge that let the staff know that, okay, this family might need some extra care. They have additional needs that we need to be aware of and sensitive to. All right, now the last thing I love about the experience actually in the Bills Stadium, because honestly, the reason why we only bring our kiddos to the preseason games is because they're just not very into it yet. Again, we try once a year, and then every year we say, you know, maybe next year they're really going to get into it, but we're just not there yet. But I love that they have a lot of treats for us to buy while we're there to make the experience, again, special and an experience and as enjoyable as possible for them. So they had M&Ms, they had lace chips, my son got a cheeseburger and fries. And again, it was a way for us to splurge a little bit and give them some treats that we don't really normally have to, again, make the experience just that much more special. And something that I really love about the Bills Stadium, again, I'm not sure if this is true of every stadium around the country, so don't quote me on this, but you can bring in your own food to Bills games. You can't bring in any liquids unless you get a medical approval, which we're just not at that place right now, but you are able to bring your own food. So my son, one of his go-to items is Pirate's Booty, and then he also loves pretzels and goldfish. And none of those items are sold in the stadium, and I know that. So bills allow um, bags about this big as long as they're clear. So we always fill them up with my son's favorite snacks. And even though I know the bills are losing out on a little bit of profit because we're not buying all of our food needs at the event, I love that they are so flexible in allowing you to bring in your own food. Because honestly, for a long event like a football game, it is so helpful as a mom of a picky eater and an autistic child to have our go-to snacks available not just in the event of a meltdown or anything like that, but just to have on hand to, again, make an unknown kind of scary experience much more familiar and much more comfortable for him. So I love that they had options to purchase, which we absolutely did. But I also love that we were able to bring in our own food to save a little bit of money and to make sure that my son had all of his normal kind of comfort foods ready and waiting for him. But again, the highlight of the day was really that sensory bag. We didn't end up running one last year just because we got there really late and it was, you know, kind of a last minute thing and I didn't really know too much about it. So if you're bringing your kids to an NFL game or anything similar, ask about these bags, ask ahead of time or maybe call ahead of time, ask us services because I'm sure a lot of stadiums have their own version of this. Now, something that I wish the Bills would have is some sort of sensory room or some sort of, you know, calm down room. They do have nursing rooms, which I really loved as a mother who used to nurse. However, there's really no room for, you know, kiddos who are having a tantrum or who need a little break from the crowds and noise or anything like that. Sure, there's the club area, but not everybody has access to that, which I'm well aware of, that it's definitely a privilege to be able to sit there and have that additional space. So I wish that the Bills would kind of carve out a little room in their stadium. They are building a new stadium right now. So I actually have to remember to call and email and get my people on board to ask them, you know, just dedicate a small little room to a sensory friendly room where kids can, you know, maybe it's lower light, maybe it's soundproof, maybe there's a couple more sensory items in there. Kind of a refuge where people can, you know, take their kiddos if they are having a rough time. Because 
I know, you know, we ended up leaving, I think like after the first quarter, but I know we could have stayed a lot longer and had a much better experience if there was a similar quiet room or maybe even a play area or something like that, because my son was able to get out some energy in the club area. But of course, when there's a lot of people there, I have to make sure that he's not endangering other people or endangering himself or, you know, tripping all over anyone. So I really hope in the new Bill Stadium that they are going to add a little play area or a calm down room or some sensory room of the sort, because I've been to plenty of stadiums that do have that. And again, it takes up a very small amount of space and resources. So again, that's going to the top of my list. I'm going to definitely email guest services and make that suggestion. But those are the things that I loved and didn't love so much about our experience at the Bills preseason game. Again, as a mom of an autistic child and a neurotypical eight-year-old, so it was kind of a mixed bag, but I really appreciate the strides that the Bills organization is making in better accommodating autistic children and adults. And I know that they have a lot of room for improvement. So, you know, call me if you need any help in that area. I would love to make recommendations or connect you with some experts that I know would help you make that sensory room a possibility. But overall, it was a good experience. We're gonna try again next year. But I wanted to give you guys those ideas and inspiration so that you can take what you would like from this experience and apply it to your business however you see fit. All right, have a great day, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or suggestions or if you want to share your experience at either an NFL game or an MLB game or an NHL game, I would love to hear it because one of the things that I would love to do is help these stadiums and organizations better accommodate children and families of all abilities. So let me know in the comments if you've ever been to a game, if you've ever struggled, or if you've ever seen an organization handle this really, really well. I would love to know, and I'd love to shout them out. All right, have a great day, guys. I will see you soon.